you guys, Lindsay here, and believe it or not, I am back for another Stash Builder Box unboxing video. Like, where has the time gone? I feel like I just did this video yesterday. Um, but nevertheless, another box showed up, and at first, I didn't recognize it because they got new packaging, and it's really cute. It says yes <laughs> on the top and yay on the side and it's here on the other side. So it's really cute and they did a really good job um, designing these boxes. I love that it's bright pink so when it shows up in the mail um, it just really ca it just catches my eye immediately. So real excited to see what everything's like on the inside. I explained to y'all last time they were going through some changes and this should reflect all of those um, changes that they made. So can't wait to see. All right, so first off, when we open the box, everything is packaged, this is nice, in one bundle with an art gallery fabric. Um, it looks just like some twill tape. So art gallery fact, I guess that's probably a little hint at what we are going to find inside. <clears throat> but so there's the bundle there, there's some confetti, some paper, oh, actually, there's an envelope. Okay, cool. So we've got two parts to this in the box. Let's start with the envelope. Save the best for last with the fabric. Okay, so we get our usual Aurifil thread, and it looks like this one is Oh, I don't, do they normally tell us the color. I can't remember. I don't see it on this one though. Sonny thinks someone's at the door. That's why he's working. But it's like a pretty peachy nude color. I like that a lot. We get another pencil. This one says, have fabric, we'll sew. That's really cute. Um, okay, so now there is a, like a business card, size card that says block of the month is now digital. On the 20th of every month, you will now find the block of the month pattern and tutorial for free on our blog. And it has the website and then the hashtag um, that they use for block of the month. And then in this one, there is a stash pick of the month um, pattern. And this is the river pond pattern. So I remember in last month's box, there weren't any pictures of the patterns at all. And um, I commented that it kind of felt a little bit like, well, I'm uninspired, you know what I mean? So I'm really glad that they put the stash pick of the month um, pattern in the box. You still don't get to see what the block of the month is, um, but there's just a website you can go to really quickly and get it after the 20th, which is yeah already in the past so it should already be up there so that's good um okay in the fabric bundle we have an october box card fabric collection is nightfall um it's art gallery and oh and then our quote which i'm not exactly sure if there's a quote last month either so i'm glad to see this is back no act of kindness no matter how small is ever wasted I love these quotes. I have a whole bunch of them up on my wall here um, behind where I film. Um, there's also this card that says, thank you because of your purchase today, we're making quilts to donate to Peaches Neat Feet. This is the same organization they mentioned last month. Um, and it talks a little bit about what Peaches Neat Feet is. So yeah, if you don't know, a portion of every box that is purchased is used to make quilts for different organizations. So this one is Peaches Neat Feet. So that's really cool. The fabric, oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so <laughs> the fabric is, do they tell me what the names of the, no, it just says Nightfall. I feel like before they said what the exact prints were and the colorway, um, but this one is not saying that. So. I'll just have to show it to you. So this is a really pretty dragonfly, um, a dragonfly print, and it has like a navy, like a or like a really dark teal background, and then these mint dragonflies all over them. This is really stinking cute. 
I, these colors are probably some of my favorite for fall. I love the combination. There's like little accents of coral in there. And I love dragonflies. Um, that They're always really cute. But it's not too like young or, or kid-like. I really like this one a lot. The next one is this very pretty like eggplant color. And it has like... I don't know dots and half moons all over it it kind of looks like it was potato stamped do y'all remember doing that craft in like elementary school or middle school it looks like it was stamped so there's some that are outlines some maybe it's the phases of the moon I, I don't I'd be I'm totally guessing um, but some are like filled in and some aren't which is kind of like how the faces of the moon are and then there's like some crescent shapes some full circles and then some halves so maybe Maybe that's what that is, but I'm not 100% sure. But the color is really, really pretty. Um, yeah, I love this color a lot. And then the last one, so butterflies are my favorite thing in the whole world. Um, I wear a butterfly bracelet. I have a butterfly necklace. In every single video, every time you see me, I, wear, I never take them off. I shower in them and everything. Um, I just really love butterflies a lot. It's hard to find butterfly fabric that isn't, like, a, a little girl's print but this is the one that came in the box so again it has that dark teal color it has a really pretty pink some coral some gray and that mint color all little um butterflies in different colors so that's the third one and you'll notice the the cuts of fabric are full yard cuts now which she had said that that was going to happen this month so it looks like that did happen which is great so now we've got three full yards of fabric here, um, all from Art Gallery's Nightfall collection. Um, and yeah, I really love this. Um, I have been thinking about, you know, it's the time for the holidays are coming up and a lot of people are gonna be making gifts. Um, so I've been thinking about some gifts that I can make. Last year I made those key fobs. Um, there's a video for a tutorial um, that I'll link down below if you're interested in learning how to make those. Um, but you know, sometimes the best gifts are these little like one yard wonders that you can find directions and patterns for. So I've been thinking about that and kind of like how I could use these one yard cuts to make um, like one yard wonder uh, gifts. Like, you know, things like zipper pouches or like um, oven mitts you know things along those lines so if you'll have any really good um ideas or patterns that you've used before that only use a yard or a combination of one yard cuts let me know and i will take a look but yeah these are really really pretty and i'm happy to have them in my stash even if i just use them for pockets or you know um facings or anything like that I would be really happy to open my garment or look inside my garment and find any of these fabrics in there so so yeah this is stash builder boxes October box and um yeah so everyone not everyone got the same fabrics as me um it's kind of like random how you get the fabrics so be sure to follow stash builder box on instagram um or follow their hashtag which is um b-o-t-m s-b-b block of the month s-b-b and you can see people making the block of the month with the fabrics that they got which is really cool if you're a quilter and really inspiring if you're not a quilter it always makes me think maybe i should be making a quilt <laughs> so we will see what happens but um i really love the fabrics and um yeah this box is really good so highly recommend it there is a coupon code that we have set up with stash builder box um, you can save three dollars off your first box by using the code inside the hem during checkout and um, i'll have the link for where you can find stash builder box in the description box below um yeah i think that's it so as always thanks so much for watching and i will see you guys next time bye